hello hello welcome back to another episode of subscribe <laughs> we're gonna be doing a black swan ballerina inspired hairstyle today i'm just showing you guys how my hair was before that french braid from when i did my trim last friday um we're just gonna go ahead and go ahead and saturate our strands just move it throughout the hair thank you guys again we are so close to a thousand subscribers i really appreciate all your support definitely can't wait to grow our brand together my hair bows all right you want to go in and we're going to be doing it into three sections here like i said if your hair is not as thick as mine um you can go ahead and just smooth as you would but for my thick hair ladies here we go all right so we're gonna go in the middle i'm just gonna make a type of circle i guess <laughs> um so right here i'm basically gonna be doing a what i call my little pockets of moisture basically i'm gonna go in and put all my um, jamaican black castor oil as well as my mega growth long hair oil say that five times fast uh, i'm just gonna go in who was not helping today just go in and just moisturize that so the middle of my hair can have some moisture in it that way it's gonna be nice and it's gonna be looking cute when it comes out so i can have like a nice little layer to it so you want to just gonna go ahead and like i said um make like a circle somewhat of a circle and um you just want to go ahead and now we're going to be smoothing it out like i said you're going to be using the cement bro cement layering process so you doing it brick by brick okay and then you want to come in and just smooth the water there and then i'm going to go in with my kinky curly knot today and that's going to definitely get so we're going to start getting some shine there and this is going to make it more malleable basically more susceptible to when i put the um the even gel on like i'll make it more i'm gonna access it a little bit more in my opinion um but you just want to go in and just come in with some chunks from that and just press it down at first just pressing it down like that's why i said that's how i usually do and smooth my hair like i said you can skip this process if your hair doesn't take this many layers um i'm just gonna go in with my aloe vera juice drink and then i'm just gonna come in and just smooth that all the way up and then this is gonna be a little bit of the gorilla snot jelly <laughs> and we're gonna come in and just smooth that on as well it's gonna give me that hold i really want for this ponytail to look nice and neat and then you want to go in and use your dimming brush now you want to make sure that the teeth of the brush are actually coming in like i'm not putting it directly on my hair as you can see it's the furthest level level <laughs> um there's the furthest level of the dimming brush to come in and i'll definitely smooth it through and then like this is very key make sure when you are brushing your hair down especially with the mama brush um you want to go in and make sure that the brush is wet as well so you have different you know just just more and more moisture couldn't help couldn't hurt to have it in your hair and that's pretty much end result of me smoothing it i definitely want to make a video for sure on like a slow process of how i smooth it and that's pretty much it i pretty much i have everything all nice and layered mine is just three levels that i did of this um right there i'm definitely going in with my gorilla snot i mean sorry my um even there on my edges right there and i want you guys to pay attention to this pimple i don't hide nothing from y'all so this pimple came from my for that it's on my hairline is that when i wear my um bandanas as you can see yes <laughs> nice and smooth um as you can see when i wear my bandanas um for some reason um it gets loose in the middle of the night so the oil seep down into my hairline and then of course you know when oils get trapped under their skin a pimple is formed so you just want to make sure that when you are um putting your bandanas on make sure they're tight enough not to fall off but definitely don't make sure they're too loose you're going to get those they go away on their own do not pop them i.e do not pop them so right here i braided my hair into two into two braids here and that's just basically and i definitely made sure i put my double butter cream here and this was to um, moisturize the braids so like i said like i want to make sure my hairs and my ends are nice tucked in away and i'm just basically pushing it through the bandana pushing it through uh, the scrunchie and actually it's not a bad hairstyle like i know this is just the first level but like you can actually stop the tutorial here <laughs> um but um it's actually it's not a bad hairstyle but this is here i'm just making trying to make the bun as small as possible yes that's my attempt at making it small and then um i just and uh just want to make sure you're molding it and making sure it's nice and centered which i ended up moving it again because i'm very anal like that so i went to bed on it but before i go you already know it's time for edge time 
edge alert time to put them to sleep i'm going to sleep my edges are sleeping as well so you want to go through with your little brush um, i usually end up combing them out and then i brush them back and like i said these pimples that you see at the front of my hair it's definitely from my scarf so the oils that were in my hair seeped down and got trapped under my skin forming the pimples in the front so basically um oh i'm getting the sideburns look at me <laughs> um basically what i'm using in the front i went in with my um edge booster here to secure it and then like uh secure the edges and then this is the black tape that i said you can get at any beauty supply store it doesn't even matter and this is definitely securing it in it's going to keep my edges nice and tight when i go to sleep so as you can see in the back i just want to show you guys how i do it and then i put my scarf on top of that because i go to sleep crazy so that's pretty much that um the hairstyle that's pretty much the mold as i would say for the hairstyle um so this is the next day i'm starting to film in two days because it was getting too much three hours in one day is crazy um you want to go ahead and get ready for the reveal here oh no they still look ghosty i got a joy i got i was like oh no they still look ghosty look that's just basically um it shows that the gel ended up not drying all the way through and i have a little secret for that just put some water droplets on your fingertips don't saturate them too much just a little bit um, you don't want the edges to start lifting up or basically start reverting. So, I mean, curling. So you want to just go through and just go in with the water there. Just go right around the hairline and that's pretty much it. So now, um, I just want to show you guys the beginning to just show you guys about how smooth it is. I do have a giant clip back there, but, um, I'm 5'10". I'm assuming no one's going to be able to see it. <laughs> um, so, um, basically what ended up happening is there, like, I wanted to have a little bit more smooth effect in the back. I felt like my head shape is so weird. So I wanted to have like a little smooth effect. So I put that giant pin back there. Um, this is only half a packet of um this is only half a packet of marley hair so this hairstyle is not even three dollars it's like a dollar fifty hairstyle this is only one packet i mean half a packet of marley hair if you really want to be specific it's 20 strands <laughs> 20 strands of marley hair which i thought this was like a cute little hairstyle too so definitely want to come through with this definitely want to make it make sure you do it at the front and then just hold it right there. Like I said, I put on a rubber band so like it would be secure, but you don't even need to do that. But you just wanna go ahead and split it in half. And then you wanna go ahead and start your bun. Um, I didn't even know you could do this, but <laughs> um, you were gonna start twisting it. So you wanna twist it, like basically, you wanna just start twisting it. And then you're basically, you're covering your bun in a way. And I like using Marley hair because whenever I see the texture differentiation, I die slowly inside. Like it pisses me off because I know now it's going to be pressured to have my hair be slick all the time because of the fact that you're not going to let the elements do what it do, you know? So that's why I said um, I ended up twisting all the way to the, to the bottom and just making sure that um, I was lifting the other one out the way. I mean, um, putting it on top. And then, like I said, you're just twisting it. Like I know some people who like to put gel on the um, actual bun so it can like look more uniform, but um, I just like it in its natural state. So I, now I know when like my edges start getting fuzzy because either I slept or I worked out, now it's gonna look cohesive compared to if it was the Konecalon hair texture, then it was gonna look crazy. <laughs> um, so you wanna go ahead and like as I showed you, pin it in the back as well. Just secure it with a couple of bolly pins, not too many, because like I said, like, I'm not a fan of putting too many bolly pins in my hair because then I can I can feel myself slowly crying inside. Um, you wanna just go ahead and pin those in place. And then that's pretty much it. And then we're gonna go in with our other side. And like I said, this is all up to you on how you wanna do the shape. Some people like, they just, they like that little cone shape, whatever, but me, like I wanted to get more of like a ballerina, um, prima ballerina <laughs> look to it. So I definitely wanted like a little circle or if you can call it the Cinnabon, if you're hungry, <laughs> I'm gonna call it the Cinnabon. Just wanna go in and definitely just twist it around. Like I said, I started um, lifting it up. Like my, my my thing is you know how, what looks good you know so i ended up twisting it um diagonally across the back um i'll go ahead and turn around and show you guys what i'm talking about um i ended up uh twisting it diagonally across the back it looks good okay i'll i'll i'll, I'll show i'll show you what i did 
but I ended up um, twisting it around the back because I know some people who like to layer their ballerina bun on top of each other, but I wanted it to look like it was natural. Like someone walks by and be like, oh, okay, I see you, girl. No, no, like, oh, I see it. <laughs> you hear the tone difference, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the hairstyle. I really appreciate you guys. Um, definitely subscribe and share with your friends. I think this is such a cute little... I don't know what to do with my hair today, but I want to look like I did something hairstyle, which we all aspire to. You want to go ahead and um, tuck the ends in as well. And we are good to go, ladies and gentlemen. Ballerina bun, definitely stay tuned for a quick video after. It's worth it. Claire hair, subscribe and share.